Well, justice has been served, and that's the sentiment coming from Tsekhufat Zobule's loved ones. The South Gauteng High Court has sentenced convicted murderer and Tutuko Shoba to life imprisonment for masterminding Tsekhufat Zobule's killing. Now, she was shot and found hanging from a tree back in June of 2020. Uh, this after, uh, rather, Shoba had ordered a hit on her, and she was eight months pregnant with Tutuko Shoba's child. Here's ENCA reporter Sindula Masigani with that story. Mr. Shorba was the driving force behind the scheme and has done nothing since Ms. Poulet's murder to merit the kind of leniency that Mr. Malapani received. Mr. Macabella did not identify any other factor that would justify a departure from the statutory penalty. He drew my attention to the year or so that Mr. Shorba has spent in pre-trial incarceration, but accepted that this could not on its own justify a departure from that penalty. Mr. Shorba, can you stand up, please? For all these reasons, Mr. Shorba, I am enjoined by the statute to apply the ordinary sentence for an offence of this nature. You will spend the rest of your natural life in prison unless the parole authorities consider you fit for release in the fullness of time. The court will adjourn. Emotional scenes inside court as Ndutu Goshoba is sentenced to life imprisonment. Now I accept that, as Mr. Makabela submitted, I should not punish Mr. Shoba merely for pleading not guilty and maintaining his innocence. But that does not mean that Mr. Shoba is entitled to the leniency that was extended to Mr. Malapani. The default legal position in respect of both men is that they would both have faced life imprisonment unless such a sentence would be disproportionate. To say that Mr. Malapani's cooperation with the police rendered a life sentence in his case disproportionate is not the same as saying that Mr. Shorber is being punished for not cooperating with the police. I am also persuaded that Mr. Shorba's role as the prime mover in the planning and commissioning of the offence distinguishes his situation from that of Mr. Malapani. But for Mr. Shorba, Ms. Poulet, Ms. Poulet would not have been killed. But if Mr. Malapani had not accepted the contract on Ms. Poulet's life, the facts of this case strongly suggest that Mr. Shorba would have carried on looking for a way to kill Ms. Poulet with or without Mr. Malapani's help. Tsekhufadzo Poulet's family says they're relieved. Obviously, it's been um, a long journey. For the whole two years, you can imagine the emotions that we've been carrying as a family. Uh, but I think at the end of the day, all we can say is that justice has been served. Uh, this is all that we've been praying for and hoping for, for all these times that we've been coming to court. Uh, the ordeal that we went through as a family and uh, the sufferings that uh, Mr. Shova has put us through as a family. I think it, it felt like we, we were bearing to Hofatso again inside the court, hence the emotions that erupted. But I guess from here, it, it's... It's for us to put this whole thing behind us, start mourning and, and start the healing process as well. The family says it's been a long journey, but with Shoba behind bars, they believe Tiho can finally rest in peace. Slinda Lomasigan, Johannesburg.